Some ain't right. Let's see if this works. Can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Give me a thumbs up. Because I had to go over it. My music started playing in my ear. Yep. I had my music playing in my ear. And I didn't know why. So let me unhook my seatbelt. There we go. Ben's in the chemo he's going to get a um, he needs some fluids yeah he's got to get some fluids so they're giving him a, a bag of fluids and I'm out in the car waiting on him and I thought I'd do a show so today is day four today is day four and day four is all about our hot spots so when you think about you know how how messy our house looks it's because we have hot spots that are kindling flame now think of it this way if you put one piece of paper down on a clear flat surface one piece of paper one piece of paper on a flat surface that just gives other people permission to put pieces of paper there. And before you know it, this hot spot is a full-blown raging infernal of paper clutter or whatever else that goes there. So let's deal with our hot spots because we have hot spots everywhere. We have hot spots in our... Um, we have hot spots in our living room. We have hot spots in our kitchen. We have hot spots on in our bedroom on our nightstand. We have hot spots on our bathroom counter. So we have to stay vigilant at keeping these hot spots put out. Now there are tips and tricks to this, and I know you really want some tips. Um, yesterday, a lovely lady I did an interview with brought me, uh, sent to me, a some flowers, a, a big bouquet of of roses, and Robert took a picture of them and and sent it to me so that I could see them. But he he put it on the credenza that's behind our couch, which is one of our hot spots. But this hot spot was was clear. So he had a place to put put these things, put these beautiful flowers. And that keeps people from putting more things in that spot. So the only thing that was on that spot besides my, my vase with flowers in it was my cat. And Penrod had to investigate it. So he got a picture of Penrod sniffing it all out. And you've got this beautiful flowers and this clear flat surface. And it was, it was beautiful. Now, your dining room table is another hot spot. Your dining room table. Some people get so upset. I, I had, an, I got an email from a 12 year old little girl once upon a time. And she says, I don't like you fly lady. And I said, oh, okay. She says, we used to have so much fun in our house and now we don't have fun anymore. And I'm thinking, oh my, mommy's, you know, trying to cram fly lady down their throats. And what she ended up saying is, we used to get creative with where we had dinner. We would build a tent over the top of the dining room table and have a picnic under the dining room table. But you wanna know why they had to have a picnic under the dining room table? because they couldn't have dinner on the table because of the hot spot that was brewing. So you see, you can't teach your children manners if you can't 
if you can't set the table. And learning how to eat with a knife and fork is important for these these kids because one day they're going to go to a special dinner and they're going to need to eat with a knife and fork and they're not going to know how to do it. So having dinner with your children at the dining room table with the fancy china and the if it doesn't have to be fancy but it can be is going to help you train them up in the way they should go because they need these skills. I mean, there are classes that these kids take now in college that are called adulting classes. And you know what they learn? They learn how to balance their checkbook. They learn how to um, eat with a knife and fork. They learn proper etiquette when it comes to, you know, open the door and doing those things. So, folks, cleaning off your hot spots is going to... Just that one act of cleaning off your hot spots is going to make your house look clean. That's what you have to clean off if you've got a cleaning lady that comes to your house. You have to clean off your hot spots because she doesn't know where this stuff goes. And most of it, most of it is, um, is paper clutter. Really, it is. It's paper clutter. Now, I, we, we need your prayers. Ben has an abscess tooth, and he's on antibiotics, but dentists won't touch anybody that has, um, that has, is going through chemo. They just won't touch it, because they can't pull a tooth because it's not gonna heal. And so please keep Ben's mouth in your prayers because it's it 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 burst yesterday he's been on antibiotics for two days anyway so share this video let's let's deal with these hot spots now today is day 29 of our back to basics and this goes right along with what we're talking about day 29 is all about progress not perfection because when we get so caught up in the perfectionism of something, we lose sight of a lot of things. So let's just make a little progress. Now, if you have a hot spot, let me tell you what happens when you get the phone call that your mother-in-law is coming over and she'll be there in, a in an hour. And I got a video on this. I have a cute little video we did 10 years ago that is all about what you do when you get that phone call that that mother-in-law is coming. You grab your laundry basket and you rake everything off of your hot spots into the laundry basket. And then you go stash it in your bedroom closet or on the other side of your bed, away from the door. So nobody can see it. And then it comes time to pay a bill or whatever was on the hot spot. You can't find it. And you don't know where it is. You don't know where it is. So we have to let go of piling up this paper on these hot spots. The laundry basket is called stash and dash is what I call it. And that Leanne reminded me of that. Stash and dash is a terrible thing. Because when you stash and dash, you don't remember where you put things. You don't. And it makes it difficult for you to, you know, keep up with things. Everything has a place and everything in its place. That's why I love the office in a bag because that's where we keep our important papers. Yep. So every flat surface, I, put, I used to joke around that fly babies did not need to have a... Um, they didn't need flat surfaces. They needed um, architect's desks that have a 45 degree angle because then you wouldn't put anything on it because it would all slide off in the floor. Well, you'd have a hot spot on the floor because you can't walk around on a, <coughs> can't walk around on a, a, a slanted floor. It really messes with your head. 
Y'all take care of these hot spots today. If you'll clean off every, at the top of every hour, clean off one hot spot, and it's going to make a huge difference in your home if you'll just clear off one hot spot at a time. You don't have to do them all, but do some of them and get them done. And you're going to be really surprised at how things how things are going to change, how your house is going to feel because you have gotten rid of the hot spots. Hot spots make our house look messy. And let's just take some time and take a little practice and then bam, it's going to be so good. You're going to love it. Now we have a new product in the fly shop. Uh, besides our tea, our tea is our latest product, but now today, yesterday, we got a new mop, and I don't even have one to show you, but there's pictures on the website, and there's a video on the website, and there's a video on our Facebook page of Justin doing his floor in his dining room in his entrance of his home, and somebody was fussing at him, said, well, your floor is not dirty, and he said, he said, I can't help it if my floor is not dirty. <laughs> I have dust bunnies because they have a fluff dog, uh, Molly, but he said, I can't help it if my floors are clean. To I, I can't dirty up my floors to show you how well it works. Well, y'all can get this new product in and, and try it on your floors and make a video for us. Because my floors are clean at home, and Justin's floors are clean, and Kathy's floors are clean, and Rebecca's floors are clean. And that's because we use the Fly Lady system. Yes, the mop cloth is reusable. You, you do not put any fabric softener on it. And Justin did do a great job on the video. So check it out. I'm going to get him to give me a picture of the new purple, <coughs> excuse me, big, big mop alongside the, our, our smaller little one. So you can see the difference. He, he shows it in the video, but it's not real plain. So it's anti-procrastination day. Today's Wednesday. Are you planning on having people over to your house for... For Super Bowl Sunday, think about it. Are you going to have a party this weekend? Start thinking about, you know, what hors d'oeuvres you're going to serve up. Are you going to cook, you know, make a prime rib? Or so I knew somebody used to do that, cook a prime rib. Are you going to do wings? You know, find some recipes. Get it going. Wings are probably real expensive this time of year for Super Bowl. It's the number one thing for Super Bowl. But if you've got chicken wings in your freezer, grab them out. Check your freezer for things that you can cook. Maybe you want to do little brisket bites or little steak bites. There's some fun things to come up with. And just spend a few minutes today looking at some recipes online for Super Bowl. Super Bowl dinner. Super Bowl hors d'oeuvres. Nachos. We had... Um, barbecue nachos the other day. I never had anything like that. It was covered in baked beans and beef brisket and pork. You could you could do, Leanne's got a great recipe for Eastern style barbecue. She gets a, a Boston butt and puts it in her crock pot. And she puts it in there and tears it all, once it cooks, she tears it all off the bone and puts a vinegar sauce on it. And you can make some sliders out of that. You've got time to make your own little dinner rolls if you want to. But it's Wednesday. It's anti-procrastination day. Start thinking about that now. You got it? Start thinking about it now. Uh, yes, it is different. It's a much better mop. It's a much better mop. Um, we had some issues with it, and we discontinued it, but we found this really, and it's purple. We had it made purple and gray. It's the colors of our rubber scrubber. So let's, yeah. Kathy likes to make sloppy joes. 
she cooks it up in the crock pot and you know sloppy joes are great things new mop is longer and i think it's wider too so i'll be posting some pictures a little later for you i have utilized my gps stand to hold my phone and it's working pretty well yeah it's not so close to my face anyway uh don't know if i'll be back on here at three o'clock but we will have tea time today because Ben has to have a CAT scan this afternoon. He's getting a bag of fluids right now. So everybody just just know I'll be around. Just don't, don't expect me at 3 o'clock because we've got to go back to the hospital. So I love you all, and I will see you later. And you can use your coupon code back number 2 basics to save on the on the mop and if you already got a mop handle you don't may not need the whole mop system but you can get everything uh, you can get everything a la carte if you want to so there you go and we have the carpet sweeper is ten dollars off and the multi one is half price and the pink rags they are absolutely amazing they're they're half price, $10 a pack. I love you all. I'll see you later. Bye.